The following contest is a Falls Count Anywhere match. Well, that's foreshadowing. Listen, I had to say something, right? <laughs> welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you're new here. I'm Christina, a.k.a. That Variety Nerd, and today we're gathered here for good old my GM. Again, the music is muted because I don't want to deal with the copyright shenanigans at this time. Now, I realize that we haven't had any issues in the Christina Bennett series so far, but for whatever reason, any issues that we get with the copyright shenanigans always seems to be on this series, and it's probably because of the menu music. And I'm like, can we just have, like, menu music muted? Like, oh, 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 I got, I got to give them an option for 2K25, now that I'm thinking about it. Add an additional audio setting, hear me out here, where the menu music is muted, but the entrance music in-game is not. Instead of just music. I don't know if that's a thing, or if it can be a thing, but it should be a thing. Because, like, otherwise, you know, I have to splice everything together, and it's just a mess. Either way, <laughs> welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you're new here. I'm Christina, a.k.a. That Variety. I don't know if I did the little intro bit, but we're doing the intro bit again. We're back with more good old my GM. We're here at SummerSlam, uh, and I'm having a blast. I am once again pre-recording a bunch of videos in the hopes of getting ahead for October, November, where it is my busy season. So, that is where things are going around here. We've got... SummerSlam, and we're going to do at least two matches, I think. Uh, we're going to do Trick versus Bronson Reed. And then I think we're going to do uh, one of the women's matches, probably. Because we just saw Randy versus Roman in the last episode, I believe. So, yeah, like, that makes sense to focus on other people. I know what you're going to say. We had, like, a similar... I think we had this matchup, actually, a couple weeks ago. Well, I think it's because it's a different title that's on the line, you know, because we didn't have the title on the line before. Oh, snap. So that is my logic. That, and I'm also making some food for uh, Friday and probably somehow a little bit into Saturday, I think. Yeah, I think Friday into Saturday. We're, we're doing a little stir-fry moment, so I was like, that's fine. I can just let the rice do its thing while I'm filming videos. So, yeah, uh, I had a little bit of a late start to filming tonight, but that's okay. I'm going to film a couple videos tonight. Uh, and we will, if it if it isn't uploaded already, I will have Christina Bennett, our character, uh, uploaded. Uh, it should be up, hopefully. Oh, God, it really... It's going to be up by the time that we've got this video coming out. Which, okay. From Columbia, South Carolina, weighing in at 205 pounds, Trick Williams! And his opponent... From Black Forest, South Australia, weighing in at 330 pounds, the WWE United States Champion, Bronson Reed. Here we go, people. So, uh, like I was about to say, uh, yeah, again, like I've been saying in the last so many Universe My GM videos, I'm pre-recording ahead of the busy season of October, November. I just have a lot of stuff coming up, and uh, I want to make sure that we have at least a couple videos a week in the event that we cannot get to a reaction video. As for Monday Night Raw reactions, now they're going to two hours. That will be on a, well, per day basis, because usually Mondays are a little rough around the edges. They could go either direction. And honestly, I just want to make sure that we have these videos pre-recorded uh, as much as humanly possible through October. So there's that. And I'm also working on some compilations. In fact, we are, we at least at the time of recording this, we should have one up uh, to complete our story slash arc uh, for the SmackDown reactions. And uh, we are actually going to be starting on one hopefully tonight, if not tomorrow, uh, which will be Friday when I'm recording this. I'm recording this on a Thursday. I'm recording this all the way back on, uh, oh shoot, I just dropped my phone. Oh boy. I dropped my phone on the couch. Yeah, that sounds right. Um, <laughs> we will be... Uh, so this should be uploaded sometime between October 7th and the 13th. And I'm recording this on the 3rd. So uh, that's where things are going. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, I got a pretty busy schedule on Friday this week. Which is the fourth. Actually, no, like all the Fridays this month, I have something going on. And I'm just like, this is not normal. <laughs> it's not just the reactions. I literally have something going on every single Friday. And I'm like, okay. 
this is fine. I'm fine. Uh, so, yeah, there's that. Uh, I have my eye doctor appointment this week as well, just the annual exam. And uh, hopefully we get some new specs this month, too. So that, that'll be what we're working on. And, you know, so there's I'm, I'm due for a new pair of glasses anyway. So I'm like, okay, cool. I might as well, you know, just take advantage of it and just go get a new pair of glasses while I'm out and about. <laughs> So that, that's my excitement for the first half of the month. And then we have the big annual light festival here in Cincinnati. It's called the Blink Festival. It's like this big four-day, like, long, like, light festival. It happens every other year. Uh, in fact, um, there is a vlog from the one that happened two years ago, and I have a better game plan for this year. Because, <laughs> my God. Oh, that was, that was not, that was not good at all. That, that... The, the plan that we had for last time was not great, and we have more ground this year to cover. So, uh, expect that vlog. <laughs> that should be out. I'm hoping, like, within a week after we're done with the weekend. Well, I'm hoping to hit up everything Thursday and Friday, if I can, and into Saturday a little bit, and then just, like, not do anything that Sunday. <laughs> I know, we didn't even <laughs> get a chance to talk about the match. But, I mean, that's what you get around here. This is, like, our podcast. <laughs> We just chit chat about life over here. Bronson Reed has been on a tear to say the least. Oh my god. Seriously, I think this is like his third or fourth match in a row or something crazy like that. I think he's only lost one match and it was to trick, so uh, Bronson Reed's going to be holding on to this title for dear life. Uh, no, I'm not going over there. Uh, I'm not going over there, Bronson Reed. But uh, that feud is up to level three. And uh, we got four and a half stars right out of the gate. And uh, let us jump over to the next match. Let's see what happens. Alrighty, people, we are back. We've got another matchup underway, or about to get underway, I should say. We've got Gigi Dolan versus Kyrie Zane in an Extreme Rules match, so that's exciting. But uh, yeah, lots, lots happening. But yeah, the Indianapolis comment. So, uh, Indianapolis, they're going to be getting Royal Rumble in 2025, which we will be on standby <laughs> to get tickets as soon as we can. <laughs> Once, like, you know, everything goes on sale and stuff like that. We, we are ready to go, people. We are ready to go. Uh, but uh, they're also going to be getting a WrestleMania, and they're going to be getting a SummerSlam. And kind of based on where everything's going, I'm going to guess they're going to get SummerSlam in 2027. And I'm thinking they're going to give them the WrestleMania maybe, like, in 2026, which coincidentally would be right before, it's like right before I turn 30. I'm like, yes, please, just do this for me. <laughs> they did it for me. They're like, well, poor Christina couldn't make it to SummerSlam in her homeland <laughs> up in Cleveland. <laughs> so we're going to bring everything a little bit close to her, which is more than okay with me, even as a non-driver, because taking the bus is a lot less, like, excruciating what is just a direct, like, Cincinnati to, like, Columbus or Cincinnati to Louisville or, you know, Indianapolis in this case. Like, that's just how it works. I gotta say, they did such a good job on Kyrie this year. I, I absolutely love how she turned out. But yeah, there's just... There's just a lot coming up, and uh, I appreciate everybody being patient. I, I'm I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I'm exhausted. <laughs> it's been a very long week, cause I mean, like you have the end of the month, and then you're kind of into that first part of the first like week of the month too, right? Cause like the end of the month happened on a Monday, and then we started on Tuesday, and then just yeah, I, I y'all understand, right? But yeah, this week is our two-year SmackDown react anniversary. On top of that, so I have I I'm using a day of PTO to take care of like my eye exam, go get a new pair of glasses, and just take a little day for myself. And so uh, maybe we'll have a nice little dinner to celebrate <laughs> on behalf of the community. I never go out to eat, so like it'll be a treat for me no matter what. So that's what I'm thinking anyway. I don't know. We'll we'll see. We'll do something. 
Uh, but yeah, we're doing some more compilations. I've had some stupid ideas, but I'm like, okay, we we gotta we got we gotta follow the major people that are on the show now. So I'm like, okay, if we can put like a fraction of this energy into the other compilations that we put into the certain individual that we've focused on for a little while, <laughs> it will be more than okay. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It'll be compilation season. I'd like to get like one compilation up a month for the rest of the year just because it is that kind of it's that time of the year we do compilations we might do maybe an extra one for december but i would love to just get into the groove of doing like one a month for a little bit just you know kind of depending on the themes and the timeliness the patterns of behavior shenanigans all kinds of stuff and it could just be something stupid like hey like here are the funniest things that we reacted to this year or here are the reactions that really made me laugh at the coffee shop while i was editing <laughs> Because I, I do. I, that's that's my little treat for myself. I, I go and get an iced coffee. Oh, speaking of coffee. I, anyway, I go and get a coffee out most Saturdays uh, when I go and edit my videos. It's a change of scenery, and I get a nice little iced coffee or something. Because, again, you have to treat yourself to a little something, right? And, like, yeah, that's what I do on my Saturdays. I know. I live such an exciting life. <laughs> Some days, though, I can get my editing done in the morning. Which is awesome and exciting, but that doesn't happen all the week, all weekends. Usually on those weekends, those are the weekends where I get groceries on like a Saturday morning delivered or something like that. And I do all my editing while I'm waiting for the groceries. It's usually something like that, right? Oh boy. Oh, jeez. I don't think I've seen that before. Okay, now I've definitely done that in the game. <laughs> I've definitely thrown trash cans and everything. Oh boy. But yeah, uh, speaking of coffee, I had to get a new coffee maker. By the way, don't ever get... I, this is me being a de-influencer. Uh, do not get a Keurig. Just don't do it. I mean, you got tables. But yeah, I got a Keurig coffee maker because my last coffee maker that I've had literally since like college and grad school, like way back when, started acting up. Got a Keurig for my birthday as like a little gift to myself, and then it's and then it just like got stuck in descale mode, and like it's just it, it's been awful for the last month. So I'm like, okay, October rolls around, we're getting a new coffee maker. So I got a new coffee maker. Y'all, this thing can make apparently like iced coffee too, and I'm just like, this this is gonna be dangerous, y'all. This is gonna be a dangerous time in this household. <laughs> it's like I'll just be making my own little iced coffees at home. <laughs> We'll have one of those, like, daytime premium live events. I'll just be drinking a nice coffee on the couch. <laughs> That'll be funny. So, apparently we're getting Crown Jewel. Am I hearing things correctly? We're going to be getting that in early November. Am I hearing this correctly? Because that's what I'm hearing. And, and seeing on the uh, X machine. So, I just... Oh, I don't know. <laughs> We'll probably be here for that. Well, we'll have to see. Because, like, I, if there's, like, multiple PLEs in a month, I just, I try to just do the one. Because, like, that, it's a lot. And it, I'd rather cover Survivor Series where it gets more interesting and there's war games involved. It, I just, I have a blast watching those matches. Okay, I just heard a noise somewhere in this apartment, but I don't think it was from my apartment. Okay, just weird noises are happening. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I hope everyone's having a lovely week so far. Uh, I don't know when this will be uploaded. I, I am working on pre-recording videos. I think I'm like a week ahead, so uh, yay me. <laughs> I'm trying to get a few weeks ahead. At least until I get to, like, mid-November, so that would probably put me at... How many more videos would I roughly need to film? Mm -hmm. I would need to film two, four, six, eight, probably eight more videos in like two weeks. I think that's doable. I might even be able to get a little bit more ahead on that, but that's my goal. <laughs> so after this video, I think I need to film like eight more videos. Uh, and that's just, you know, for my GMs and for universe modes. So there's that. Yay! <laughs> but realistically, I've been really enjoying just getting back into watching and just, like, playing the games and everything like that, so. And Kyrie Sane picks up the win. 
There we have it, people. I mean, that that would definitely do it. God, they really did a great job on her. What a match, people. What a match. What a moment. We might be able to get one more match in, people. We might be able to get one more match in tonight. Or we could just go through and just... Maybe go on to week 11, perhaps. We shall see. But we got four stars for Kyrie and Gigi. Their rivalry is completed. Let's keep things moving along. And we're back in Indianapolis. So I decided to do the other women's match. Well, we got two other women's matches, but you get the idea. We're giving the people what they want. I swear, I need like a fraction of Thea Hale's energy. Like, I need like a tiny fraction and I would be fine. I, I just love her energy and enthusiasm whenever I get to watch her on NXT. She's just, she's great. She's just awesome. But either way around, we have Thea Hale versus uh, Jody Garcia. The, the like, random... A uh, person that we picked off a of free agency a little while ago, but she's becoming a fixture on the roster. And, and that's what you want to see on my gym. That's the fun that I have with this mode, is that like you never know who's going to be your next star on your roster. And that's always the fun part, right? Right. I realize I might have the difficulty set on like medium or something, but it's like, hey, we're, we're getting through it. Roller Buster Jody. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> Although I think that I think that chant should be reserved for someone else that is not on our roster. <laughs> oh, but either way around, I was like, okay, well we got room for one more match. Let's get another match in here. Why? Why not? Let's just do it. Let's just go for it. You know, just get some more people that we normally don't see on the roster or we haven't seen just yet. And, uh, yeah, I think this has been a good little episode, to say the least. And, hey, it's a shorter episode, which means it's going to be nice and easy breezy, easy peasy, lemon squeezy for me to edit, which is always a positive. All right, here we go. We got Thea Hale, Jody Garcia in a tables match. We have to see what unfolds here. Oh, boy. Oh! Huge power bomb right there. Uh, so, yeah, let me know what you're looking forward to in October. You know, whether that's wrestling, life things. Let me know in the comments down below. I've, I've always loved this time of the year. It's crazy busy, but it's like, not like... It's like it's crazy busy, but not like in a bad way, right? But like, I feel like I have something going on every single month for the next few months. I'm like, I'm tired thinking about it. <laughs> Like, this month's a busy month. November is going to be a little bit busy, too. And then December is just December with the holidays. And then January, February, I'm, I'm going to Royal Rumble. And we, we will give you updates when we when we get the tickets. So it's not a matter of if, but when. <laughs> when they go on sale and everything, which is not until mid-November. So I'm like, great, okay, fine. Be that way. <laughs> Like, I've never been on, like, an actual vacation as an adult. Like, I've traveled a little bit, but it was mostly just for either school purposes, which was all of, like, one or two little trips, um, or for, like, moving, and that was it. But, like, you know, that's kind of why I like doing these videos and doing the reactions. It's just nice to kind of sprinkle in the little life things, but, yeah, I mean, like, I can honestly say at this point I've reserved a hotel for the trip, um, and so that's all good to go. And uh, I booked my bus ticket. So that's exciting. And I got travel insurance on the hotel. Look at me getting travel insurance on a hotel. <laughs> like, I was talking with my mom about this trip, right? And because I was like letting her know, like, oh my god, the tickets are going to be on sale like a little over a month from now. And I was like all extra excited about it. And she's like, just you watch, there's going to be a, there's going to be a blizzard happening <laughs> like, when you go on your trip. And I'm like, I would not rule that out because it's it's Indiana and they are in the Midwest. They, they get snow. And I'm like, oh, great. Okay. 
Now, in the I, I do have a backup option if, if the bus ticket situation doesn't work out entirely and something gets all screwed up. Uh, yeah, uh, we, we, we might have to get a little creative with, with airplanes, but, you know, <laughs> this is what it is. We're going. <laughs> We're going no matter what. <laughs> it's going to be great. <laughs> but it's been so funny. Like, literally, I have gotten, like, either tagged in or like people some of y'all have sent me some stuff about like Rail Rumble in Indianapolis or like some other people in my life have been tagging me in the Moo Dang memes and everything like that if you don't know who Moo Dang is uh, Moo Dang is a uh, lovely little hippo in I believe Taiwan I want to say right I'm, I'm pretty sure that's where Moo Dang is Yeah, Mudang is in Thailand. Mudang was born in uh, July of this year. Oh, God. And here's the thing, right? So, we, we around here... We love our hippo stories. We love all the hippo -y goodness around here, right? Because here in Cincinnati, we have, we have Fiona the hippo and her little family. So there was a little crossover with Fiona and Mudang. And it was just, oh, it was the greatest. We, we did not deserve it. <laughs> so that, that all happened. Oh, oh, geez. Just got her like right in the corner, too. That's, that's smart. That is very smart. Oh, God. So, yeah, I'm like, between wrestling and mooding, and sometimes there's been the overlap, I'm like, y'all are crazy, and I, I, I love y'all. <laughs> that's, that, that's, that's exactly what I am here for. <laughs> Just send me all the wrestling and animal memes, and we're good to go. <laughs> good to go there. Oh, Thea Hale connects. Again, you gotta put somebody through a table in order to win the match. That's how this works. I think after filming this video, I'm going to go ahead and, like, finish cooking because my, my rice is done. <laughs> and then I'll be back to filming more videos. I don't know if I'm going to continue with my GM for the night or switch over to film some universe mode. We will have to see. We'll have to see where the energy levels are. The hail connects. Just got to get her. Oh, I thought she was going to get her right there. Oh, my God. Could you imagine if, like, she just went through the table like that? That would have been interesting. It's like, well, okay, this all happened. Nice counter right there from Jody. And Jody. Jody's looking for it. Oh, if you would have just, like, oh, if you would have went another, like, 90 degrees, Jody, we could have had somebody through a table. Boo! The table was right there. All right, I don't know where we're. Why, where are we going? I I don't know what's happening. Uh, the one person was like pointing. Just somebody needs to go through a table. Just just for the people. Just do it for the people. Beautiful. Oh, come on! No, you're supposed to throw somebody through a table, not throw a table at somebody to win this match. I don't understand this logic here, and I don't understand the logic of fireworks going off in, the, in October, but okay. What are we doing, people? What are we doing? <laughs> Just, I don't understand this. None of this makes sense to me. And that's okay. Oh, seriously? Okay, thank you. Oh my god! Somebody throws somebody through a table! <laughs> it's like my neighbors are going to be like, what the heck is this person talking about? Like, what is happening here? Alrighty. 
Please tell me somebody's going through a table soon. Th this is this is exactly it. Beautiful move right there from Jody Garcia. Now is somebody going to go through a table? <laughs> If you've made it to this far in the video, it's like, oh my god, Christina, can you shut up? Somebody's gonna go through the table at some point. And it's like, well, not not soon enough. See what I mean? Like, they have all these openings to, like, put somebody through a table, and it's like, they just don't do it. See what I mean? Like, they just throw the table. They don't put people through the table. Lord. We're gonna have to do a... I, I feel like we're gonna have to do a time jump at some point. Oh my god. We got two tables in there. Nobody's put somebody through a table yet. Love that for us. Just do what I do and put somebody, like, put the, put the, put the table in the corner. No, put the table in the corner and then grapple them. That's what you do to win these matches. <laughs> I'm awful. We might have to do a little time jump moment if, if this, if this doesn't, like, go a little quicker. Because we, we got things to do. We got videos to film and things to do. Like, edit the videos. And, well, I gotta upload the compilation. Okay, see? She's listening to me. I, I guess, I guess, well, technology was listening to me. I don't know. They're like, alright, Christina, we gotta hurry this up. You need to cook some food. She's gotta film videos. <laughs> oh, dear lord. Now we're setting up some tables. Okay, thank you. Oh, you slam right there. Alrighty, here we go, here we go, here we go. Jody's looking for it, Jody's looking for it. Oh, okay, I guess we're going through the ropes too. Alright, well, Jody Garcia picks up the win. You'd love to see it. The fans are happy they got to see somebody get through, like, thrown through a table. So, uh, go Jody. Definitely a breakout moment for her. Very exciting stuff here at SummerSlam. Oh my goodness. We got three stars, and uh, we gotta see how the rest of the PLE went, and we gotta see how everybody else did. So let's take a look. Oh, look at that! Look at that! We crushed it, people. SmackDown got kind of close, but we absolutely crushed it. I do realize that... Oh, I was like, okay, where's the title at? <laughs> I'm like, I forgot that Seth had the world title. <laughs> it's like, Christina, what is this? But uh, here we go, people. Here we go. We got four stars pretty much almost across the board except for the tables match, but that is a okay. We completely crushed it. We ended a bunch of rivalries, which was awesome. This is the only rivalry that's continuing out of all the matches that we had. And then we still have Seth Rollins and OM Dar kind of going at their feud for a little bit. And then, you know, we had some self promos along the way, too. Oh, wrong button. <laughs> wrong button. My bad. Oh, my goodness gracious. We got 128,000 fans. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, I'm so proud of us. 124 for NXT. Okay, so we're ahead. ECW got 104,000. Okay. Oh! We crushed it on this PLE, everybody. We absolutely crushed it. Look at this. Look at this. I mean, we we, we crushed it, y'all. We crushed it. Oh, okay, congrats. You earned a power card by completing the seasonal challenge complete arc. Okay, then. Uh, so, we're still in last place, but hey, we gained some momentum, and I think that's what counts, right? And Regal's ahead, so, uh, cool. Alrighty, I don't think we're going to trade anybody just yet. I want to see what the offers are going to look like. Uh, Carmelo for thirty thousand dollars. Uh, I think we're gonna decline for now. I mean, we are pretty uneven with bad guys and good guys, so we probably could use a good guy, right? Uh, but the trade value—I mean, it's pretty even, Stephen. But we need to get like, we need to actually get like that tier three arena for the one challenge that I think we had. And we can always turn people into good guys, too. So it's not like anything's, like, set in stone. But, uh... Oh, Jesus, Regal! Seriously, you're in first place! Oh, okay. 
Jody's doing better than expected. Maybe a little... Po yeah, I would agree. I would agree. Thanks, Trips. We appreciate you. Oh, well, yeah, that's true. Fair enough. We did get Regal. That That's fair. <laughs> hey, boss, I have a proposition for you. How about you and I have ourselves a little partnership in the next few weeks? You... <laughs> In the lore, I don't think this would make any sense. I am an impartial general manager. Sorry, Robin. I'll see to it, Gigi. I'll give you somebody else. Alright, class change promos cost 75% less. Cost 75% less. Less! Oh my god. Special student specialists on your roster gain 10... Okay, okay. Fighter superstars triple the cost, but double the fan game of charity promos. I think the special student ones actually work out because we have a number of specialists. I think we have, we have uh, one, two, three, four on our roster so far. So I think they would definitely benefit. Yay! Okay, Seth's at 17, Becky's at 17, Miz is at 17, and Gigi's at 12. So that's cool. All right, do we have enough for the tier three just yet? Yeah, we do not, and we need to get this, but we, we can't get that. Um, so, ooh, okay, let's take a look and see. Okay, hang on here. So we got to rest our female tag champs this week. Click here to get more info. Okay, let's see which ones that we got. So we almost have the call-out promo one taken care of, so that would probably be this upcoming week. So we're almost at three. Uh, resolve five rivalries during a PLE. So we did that one. And then book 15 shows of the title match. So uh, yeah, we did it. Uh, so uh, promote three stars to a new rank. We could probably do that. And then, yeah, I would say so. Yeah, we're almost there. So go team. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and book the show. Uh, we'll go over the matches for the next episode of me. Alrighty, so here's the card for week 11 of a good old season one over here. So you'll see a couple different faces on the roster. And I think we needed to add a few people to the roster in general. Because uh, everybody's stamina was just looking really rough. So I put like half our roster on promos this week just to kind of help that out a little bit. Uh, but we have Ilya Dragunov on our roster now. Uh, so he'll be taking on The Miz. We've got uh, Jody versus Gigi. Obviously, we did not want to put Gigi on the show this week because, well, stamina levels. But it also works out because she's fighting somebody different. We have Fanny on the roster versus Nia Jax because, well we could afford Fanny and uh, so far things are working out pretty well with Jody so I'm, I'm keeping optimistic and then in the main event uh, we used one of the power cards the pre-physio one uh, to reduce uh, Seth's chances of getting injured and so why not have it at the very end of the why not have a title match at the very end of the show so we might watch this match but we also might watch Ilya and Miz that could get interesting too we'll have to see or we could watch Nia versus Fanny we'll watch one of these matches somewhere I think next week so that pretty much wraps things up for this episode of good old my GM so again thank you all so much for tuning in leave a like, leave a comment, make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell button to get notifications around here and that sort of thing. Again, thank you all so much for tuning in and I will see you all in the next one.